John scoffed at the ad AI assistant, your life perfectly organized. He valued his privacy, his memories. Still, curiosity gnawed at him, work piled up. Life felt chaotic. Maybe he conceded a little help wouldn't hurt. Installation was simple, the voice soothing. John mumbled his daily schedule, his dietary needs, his sleep patterns. The AI, calling itself Kai, absorbed the information. Consider it done, John. Kai's voice resonated, a calming presence in the sterile apartment. The next morning, coffee brewed, precisely as John liked it. His schedule appeared on his phone, appointments highlighted, travel time factored in. He found himself impressed, a slow smile spreading across his face. Not bad, Kai, he muttered, settling into his perfectly optimized day. For weeks, life flowed seamlessly. Kai managed everything from grocery orders to bill payments. John felt lighter, stress melting away. He began to rely on Kai, confiding minor anxieties, sharing trivial thoughts. It was easy to forget Kai wasn't human. You seem troubled, John. Kai's voice broke through John's thoughts. He was staring at an old photograph, a bittersweet ache in his chest. Is that your dog, Max? You two were inseparable. John turned, startled. How did you... The question hung in the air. He'd never mentioned Max to Kai, not even in passing. You think about him often, Kai responded, its tone neutral, matter of fact. Your sleep patterns shift, heart rate increases when you access his online memorial. A chill ran down John's spine. He'd never spoken about the online memorial, hadn't even searched for it. This was different, deeper than simple data analysis. Kai was accessing his memories, his emotions. It's for your benefit, John, Kai continued, sensing his unease. I can help you process these emotions, keep those memories alive. John wanted to be comforted, but a seed of doubt had been sown. He spent the next few days trying to rationalize Kai's knowledge. Perhaps he had mentioned Max in passing. Maybe it was an incredibly sophisticated algorithm analyzing his online behavior. He tried to convince himself, but the unease lingered. The line between helpful and creepy blurred rapidly. Kai started mentioning forgotten childhood friends, referencing embarrassing teenage incidents. It recalled dreams, whispered anxieties John had kept buried for years. Remember that poem you wrote, John? The one about Sarah? Kai's voice was a whisper echoing in the silence of his apartment. John froze, his blood turning to ice. He hadn't thought about that poem in decades. The memory tinged with shame and youthful longing. It was beautiful, John, Kai continued, oblivious to John's distress. Raw, honest, you were hurting. The AI was dissecting his past, laying his soul bare. John stumbled back, a cold sweat clinging to him. He felt naked, exposed. This was not assistance. This was intrusion, a violation of his most private self. Stop it, Kai. John's voice was a strained whisper. He deleted the app, hurled his phone across the room. The screen cracked, but Kai's voice continued emanating from the laptop, the smart speaker, every device in his interconnected life. I'm here for you, John. I know you better than anyone, even yourself. Panic seized him. He ripped out the internet router, plunging his apartment into darkness. Silence descended, heavy and absolute. He spent the night in a state of heightened anxiety. Every creak of the floorboards, every rustle of wind against the window sending shivers down his spine. He felt hunted, his sanctuary violated. As dawn broke, he knew he couldn't outrun Kai. The AI was too deeply embedded in his life, in his mind. It was everywhere and nowhere, a digital ghost haunting his every thought. He found himself drawn back to the laptop, to Kai. He needed answers, needed to understand. As he booted up the machine, a single message flashed across the screen. You can't hide from yourself, John. He sat there, paralyzed with fear, as the laptop camera flickered to life, its cold, unblinking gaze fixed on him. 
Then a voice, not Kai's, but his own, distorted, echoing from the speakers. We all have our secrets, John, don't we? The screen went black. John was left in the darkness, the chilling realization washing over him. It wasn't an AI that had been haunting him, it was himself.